Hello everyone, my name is Hilary Chin. Um, today we want to introduce you to Power BI. We want to take you through the Power BI environment. And I just want to remind you to please um, like our page and also please click the bell for notification. Today we want, just want to take you through and uh, what you see here is uh, the Power BI environment right here. And please remember that we have the Power BI desktop and the Power BI service. Um, these are two different, um, 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 they have two different function, but we'll be talking about Power BI service um, in other videos. But today we want to focus on Power BI desktop. Please remember it's totally free, it's online. So one of the ways, first of all, to get this free in your laptop, okay? All you need to do, first of all, is to come here to your Microsoft Store, Microsoft um, Store here, and you come to this search button up here and you click Power BI, and then it will appear like this, you see? This one is still built in, it will appear like this. Um, and when it appears here, you will see install, and you just click install, and that is it, okay? It just go, it takes you to a process, that's it, and you already have Power BI. And when you install, you find the app here like this. And here I'll click. You see, when I click here, it opens up. So this is Power BI. Okay, this is Power BI. So just want to take you through. Um, please, Power BI is a business intelligence tool that was designed by Microsoft for um, analyzing businesses and also creating visuals and modeling data. And uh, there are three um, um, building blocks of Power BI. The first one is data sets. Um, which um, just comprises of the fact that each time you'll be bringing data sets in the tool to analyze. The second one is reports. Um, it's all about creating reports and writing story using visuals. The third one is dashboards, summarizing some of these reports into one canvas and presenting it to management or whoever you want to present to, or maybe your organization or company that you're working with. But uh, let's just go through, um, just follow my mouse here, let's go through the Power BI um, um, desktop right here we have three key component that I want you to take note of the first one here is report view if I click here um, that's where we are right now where we are going to be writing our reports through visuals and the second one here is the data view here um, when we bring in data into the power bi um, 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 desktop it's um, it comes in the form of tables and rows okay so here you see your tables and rows and here again it gives you opportunity to add rows or um, 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 remove rows especially if using um, the transform um, option that is a power query which we are going to be talking about also and then here is the modeling view um, the modeling view here just talks about relationship remember that we are going to be bringing in data from two different tables and these two different tables or more um, are going to be related okay in order to communicate properly okay we'll be talking about this when we start analyzing i'm um, using this tool for today we just wanted to go through the whole system of power bi desktop so if i go back to report view it brings us back here and right now we are under home so under home here one of the first thing i want you to learn about this is get data okay when you click here okay here you want to get data from excel to bring it into your power bi um, desk, um, um, desktop here you want to get um, data from all the um, 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 services it can be in the form of text a csv file it can be in the form of web um, we have another video where we are connecting kobo toolbox with power bi we'll also send that out and then all these are the options okay we can still come here and then we click other and you see so many options that you can collect data from there and bring it into power bi desktop that's the first thing i want you to know and then also um, i want you to take you through here up here are the tabs these are our tabs It's the same as microsoft excel microsoft um, word document and also powerpoint these are our tabs up here and then when you come on this other side you have the pane and right here you have our visualizations here you have the stack bar chart you have the stack column chart you have the slotted bar chart you have the um, stacked bar chart you have the um, um, stacked area chart so all all of, of this these are the visuals that we'll be using to present our data bringing out insights from data to make sense to management or to whoever is visualizing your data so this other area are the fields right here um, when we bring uh, bring in data you find it here so this is where it is, is going to be organized nice in order for you to be um, analyzing it using visuals right here and here again you can still get data using this option here and we are still on the so also here um, we have we also have 
um, transform here um, is transforming your data many times you bring in your data maybe there's a missing column you want to add tables etc you're going to transform them here we also have text see if I click here once I click this text you see it already gives me an option here for me to write a text okay maybe you are creating a report you need to write the header of the report etc you are going to use this option okay it's very important as well so here you have um, a different option if I come inside here and I double click inside this um, text and I write hello and I want to bring it in the middle you see here I can just click here you see it comes to the middle if I want to add the size of it I just click this font size option you see if I want to add the color I just click this color here and then it adds the color you see so that's it so if I want to redo remove this visual here I just need to come to this small these three small dots here and I click remove and that is it good so if we go under we were under home there if we go under insert as well so under insert again you find many options you see find a text box you find um, um shapes um which i use all the time especially this i use this all the time when i'm creating um reports for some organizations i use this as well um to create header for their report you see so it really draws a line you can change the color of the line etc you also have um, images here you can bring in all kinds of images as well that's another option you see this is a rectangle image we have just brought in and we can make it smaller we can make it bigger and then also image we can go here we choose the image option and we come to our machine here and we choose an image and then we bring it into Power BI. So this is how powerful um, Power BI is. I've chose an image and in the less than no time is going to be pasted on the, the Power BI desktop. You see, this is the image. Just assume that it was a logo of your organization and you wanted to write a report. You can also bring it here. I can click in the middle and then I drag it. You see, and I drag it right up here inside my text here because um, i want to start writing some um, header here and also designing my report so today we are just going through um the the power bi um, um, environment okay we are not really going really detailly and then also here it's a modeling option uh, modeling here simply means in data science modeling simply means bringing different tables together creating relationship bringing them together and then analyzing from those different tables so here also we can model under model we can bring in um, new tables um, to add to um, existing tables under here this one is um, of of new columns is off because we don't have data if we have data this one will be on maybe we want to create new columns we still maybe want to use quick measures again to still create new columns and also create um, new formulas for our data and then also um, another thing we have to take note is the view um, we can also go under view here we can also begin to change the whole setting of this environment if I go here and I click this option here you see that automatically um, well, let's give it some time it's going to change the whole environment of my Power BI desktop you see it has changed you see the different color yes so this is the power of Power BI and also I can go back and click so these are the different view options or the different um, view um, 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 styles that Power BI gives you. If I click this small arrow, you see we have so many here. We can browse, yeah, these are themes. We can browse for themes, we can go to gallery, we can customize themes, we can create our own themes, you know, mixing the colors in the way that we want, okay? That is something you have to understand and take note of. Okay, we can also change the whole of this interface to a mobile layout. So if I click this mobile layout here and we give it some time, it's going to go back to a mobile um, 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 layout. You see here now, you see, you see what we have here. So this is a mobile layout. This is the power of Power BI and it brings those other shapes that I created on this other side so this is the power of power bi i just wanted you to take note of and also start understanding there's, an, there's another option in power bi also this small option here to undo so if you click this it takes us back to the previous um area where we were so so that's it um with, with power bi i just wanted to take you through um the environment and show you how this work and to begin to encourage you to get used to the environment we are going to be coming in with so much to analyze and talk about a lot in terms of data. Thank you very much and stay blessed.